The UIL Class 5A District 29 track and field meet ended today. The top four athletes in each event advancing to area next week. We start with the girls 100 meter dash. Four finished under 13 seconds, including Gregory Portland's Dick Sabatka in the white jersey, who placed second in 12.87 seconds. And Flower Bluff's Margaret Croft came in third at 12.95 seconds. Then in the boys' 100 meter dash, Flower Bluff finished first, second, and fourth to advance to area. DeWalt ran sub 11 with a time of 10.8 seconds. He battled back from last year's hamstring injury. Start off a little rough. It's, had to get my way back into the season, and it took me a while to get here. So I'm, I'm doing real good right now, and excited to be back. Feels great. Last year I was able to win district, but had to cut my season a little short. So this year it just feels good to be where I'm at right now. And now to the girls four by 200 meter relay. Victoria East finished first, but it was a close battle for second. Gregory Portland edging Carroll in a time of one minute, 46.76 seconds. The boys relay was won by Flower Bluff. The Hornets ran two laps as a team in one minute, 28.47 seconds. And the Lady Hornets took the top two spots in the girls 400 meter dash. Margaret Croft outran her teammate Macy Rifkin listen to this by 13 milliseconds super close race nice hug there by both of those girls Croft finished in one minute and 24 milliseconds and congratulations to the Ingleside boys track and field team the Mustangs won the UIL class for a district 30 title for the third year in a row good luck at the area meet next week